Hey, it's HJ. Welcome to my channel. If you are visiting for the first time, visiting? What is this, a road trip? What is this, a field trip? If it's your first time at my channel, please subscribe. My name's Hillary Jane. I make Christian pop and hip hop music. I sing, I rap, but I also have a YouTube where I like to talk about godly living, do scripture studies, relationships, all of that. So subscribe. Yeah, we're going to talk about how to not be annoyed. So let's do that. Okay, so me and my husband, Roman A. Flores, work from home together 24 seven. And it can get really annoying. If you have a boyfriend, if you have a girlfriend, if you have a husband, if you have a wife, like if you have a sibling, if you have a mother or father, then you live in their house, you know what it's like when people just irk you and get on your nerves and you feel like it's constant. Okay, if we're being real with ourselves, the majority of the time we're annoyed by people, it's our fault. We're choosing to be annoyed. We're choosing to let the things that people say or do irk us or get on our nerves, get on, get on our nerves. I mean, obviously, if like somebody's sinning against you straight up, then that's something that needs to be addressed. But the majority of the time that we're being annoyed, it's because people are doing things that we don't preference. So like, I would prefer you not to chew that way. Or I would prefer you to scoot over and like give me more elbow room. Or like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of things. What are real life things in my life right now? Let me think. Hey Roman, come here real quick. Okay, honestly, like think about it. What are some ways I say you annoy me? Like, oh, you're annoying me. Everything I do. Come on now. Okay. Anyway, being passive aggressive, being passive -aggressive uh, the amount of time he plays video games, which isn't even a bad thing. It's just a preference thing. It's not even a lot. Yeah, we could discuss that later. <laughs> um, just, I don't know, just little so things. You know, I played a combined total of three hours this week. Okay, cool. <clears throat> You're annoying me. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the point is this. We look at what people are doing and irking us and there are issues that aren't even sin. We choose to let them annoy us. So here's what you gotta do, okay? You don't wanna be the person that's always rude or short or snarky or passive aggressive because somebody's annoying you. Like that's not godly. We wanna be godly, we wanna be kind, we wanna be patient, we wanna be gracious. We just wanna be like a loving person to be around. So here's what you need to do. Super simple, Philippians 4, 8. I don't have the scripture in front of me, but it says something like, whatever is lovely, whatever is pure, whatever is good, whatever is worthy, whatever is godly, think on these things. So that, here, here's the big part, so that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart. Let me look at the scripture. Oh, it just says, so that the God of peace will be with you. If you feel like you are not a peaceful person and people annoy you all the time, start with yourself. You can't really change other people, but you know what you can do? You can think godly things and you can be patient with people and you can be kind with people. And something that was told to me in Bible study the other day, this older woman was like, I'm obviously not super good with quotes, but it was something like, if your significant other was, um, 40 or 30% annoying in the things you don't like about them. Like you may even hate some things about them, the way they do this or the way they think or the things they like or whatever. You have to remember that 70, 60, 80% of them that you love. Remember those things. Think, think on whatever is pure and lovely and worthy to be thought of and praiseworthy and don't dwell. Just don't dwell. Remember, memorize the scripture so you're not like me. Memorize it. It's good for you to do that. But yeah, that's it. Love you guys. Until next time, don't forget to hit the bell to be reminded. Um, I recognize that y'all want to see more relationship things, so that's what I'm going to be doing for a while and scripture studies. So relationship stuff and scripture studies. If you have relationship questions or something specific you want me to hit on, let me know below. If you have any thoughts on what I said, let me know below. I love you guys and talk soon. Bye.